Hey everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've seen some of my videos before. I'm Jess and in this video I'm setting up my bullet journal for the month of January. I've really wanted to do feather illustrations for a long time, but since I'm cutting it really close to the beginning of January, I ended up making these very simple feathers and doing them in pen instead of attempting watercolor. So first things first, I'm doing a title page here, and I don't always add a little calendar to my title pages, but I thought it looked good with the theme, so I included it. And I mostly just use my um, Faber-Castell black ink pens, two different shades of blue pens, and two different shades of gray pens. I had to show off these new erasers my mother gave me for Christmas. This one is a little heart organ, and I think they're super cute and funny and actually good erasers as well. There were about 12 different little organ erasers that came in the pack. Uh, the company's called iHeart Guts, so I'll link that in the description below. Next is my essential calendar page. I always like to have the entire month on one page to look at things in advance. I used 5x5 five five boxes for my squares, and I always like to add a little notes box on the side if I need to write more details about something.
This page is something new I'm going to experiment with this month. In my last Burl journal, I would do a two line a day journal each month. I really do love it, but also found that I limited the amount I could write about. If I had a great day, I had to condense my thoughts to two lines, and for all the mediocre days, I had to expand on them to two lines. Hopefully this is a solution, and I'm going to use the two pages to just write about those special days and elaborate on them more. The beauty of a bullet journal is that if I don't like this setup for this month, I'll just change it next month. What else is new this year is that I'm going to try and go back to doing weekly layouts. You'll see I'm being more realistic with myself here and starting out with two weeks on two pages. I find that I usually don't need the entire two pages for just one week. You might also notice that I don't need to do a running log as I set up those pages for the entire year in the front of my bullet journal. You can see that set up um, in my 2020 bullet journal setup if you'd like. I may still need to make myself a brain dump page, um, perhaps my notes section on the calendar page will be enough, but I guess we'll find out. Here is the final flip through of my January setup with feather illustrations. Pretty happy with how these turned out. I feel like the feathers kind of remind me of some artwork and colors you'd find in the Pacific Northwest. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more bullet journaling and art stuff from me. And check out the links below if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or Pinterest. I love reading the comments, so please let me know your thoughts as well as if you're starting a bullet journal this year. Have a happy new year and I'll see you in my next video.